Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be solving the leak code question FizzBuzz. Alright, so this question is pretty simple, and what we need to do is we need to write a program that outputs the string representation of numbers from 1 through n. So every time there's a multiple of 3, we uh, output fizz. Every time there's a multiple of only 5, we output buzz. But if a number is a multiple of both 3 and 5, we output fizz buzz. Okay, so all it is, we're given some rules and we need to just write that into code. So the most naive thing we could do is we can type out each and every if condition and do that, but we have a better solution, which is a slight modification. So let's start off by creating a results list and this is what we're going to end up outputting. Okay, so we created that and now we're going to go inside of a for loop. So for x in range, we're going to be starting off at the number 1 and we're going to go all the way up to n. Since we're going all the way up to n, we're going to do n plus 1. Because uh, what this does is it's going to go up to n plus 1, not including n plus 1. So that means it's going to include n in this case. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to have a temporary variable over here. And it's going to be an empty string. Okay, so what we're going to do over here, we're first going to check if x mod 3 is equal to 0. So if that is the case, we're going to add the word buzz, sorry, fizz to our temporary word. So temporary plus equals to fizz. Sorry, fizz. And f is capital. Okay, so there. So every time it's divisible by 3, we're going to add the word fizz. Okay, so after this, we're going to check if it's divisible by 5. So if x mod 5 is equal to 0, then in that case, we're going to do temp plus equals to buzz. So we're going to add the word buzz. And how does this actually make sense? So if something is only divisible by 3, then we're going to add only fits. If it's only divisible by 5, we're only going to add buzz. But if it's divisible by 3 and 5, we're first going to add fizz and then we're going to add buzz. So that satisfies two of our conditions. And now we have every other condition of ours. So in this case, x mod 3 is not equal to 0 and x mod 5 is also not equal to 0. Wait, sorry. X mod 5 is not equal to 0. Okay, so when it's not divisible by 3 and not divisible by 5, then in that case, to our temporary variable, we're going to be adding the number we are at. And more specifically, we're going to add the string of it. We're not going to add the number. So string x. You could either write it like that or you could use f string. So you could do f and then you could put curly brackets and x. Either of them means the same thing. Okay, and now that we have this outside of after we're done with all of these if loops statements, then after that, we're going to add that to our results. So res.append, and we're going to append the temporary variable. And that should be it. So at the ending, outside of our for loop, we're going to end up returning res. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we return res. So we'll submit this. Okay, and as you can see, our submission did get accepted. And finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you.